Hey guys, welcome to the data analysis section of practice problems, level easy. All right, let's get right to it. All right, so in this easy problem, now first we have a graph. And it's important to note right off the bat, what is this graph all about? And it says right at the top here, it's cars sold per month. All right, now let's take a look at the data on the axes. So first of all, on the Y axis, we have the number of cars. So as you move up and down on the Y axis, right, the higher up means the more, uh, the greater number of the cars, greater number of cars sold. Now here on the X axis, we have time, we have months. So it's July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, now let's jump into the actual question. So it says the line graph above shows the number of cars John sold in each of the last months of 2020. 12. John sold how many more cars in November? Okay, so they want to know in November, how many more cars did he sell in November than July and August combined? So first of all, we just need to analyze this graph, figure out how many cars did he sell in November, then how many cars did he sell in July and August, and take the difference, simple as that. So here we go right up here. November is kind of this line. So we've got right there 52 for November. And then we've got for July and August, here is July, so that is 20. And here is August, so that's 17. So it's basically, we wanna take, we wanna subtract the sum of these two from 52. So here we've got uh, 52 minus 37, and that gives us right here, 15. Now let's see if we have that anywhere and that looks like answer choice C, 15, final answer and that's how you do it.